All right, what's going on, guys? <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed the first two parts. We're on a part three. Let's uh, part three of process mapping. We're going to talk about the path, the foundation. We're going to lay it all out and get you ready for your assignments. Yeah, homework. <laughs> There's a big difference between doing something of your own accord and being in school or whatever and being forced to do something, you know what I mean? I like learning on my own and doing stuff like this, but put me in a classroom, I'm like, Pew! see you later, I'm out, done, gone, peace. Anyways, so, <clears throat> what is the path? What is the foundation? We need to keep this in mind as we're going through doing our homework, right? Uh, this week's homework is going to be writing out your scripts, putting it on paper or Evernote, Samsung Notes, whatever the case may be. Get it put into there and we're going to be, you're going to be mapping out your process. Uh, we'll get into that in the next video. So the things to remember, the things to consider before we start all this. Technology is your friend. That's number one. No, the dog came over and laid by me. <laughs> I made a new best friend. Oh, my chicken scratch. It'll get better one of these days. I'll get better at writing on this too. So what do I mean by that? <clears throat> Automate follow-up. Follow-up. to free up your time. Break it down into a little bit more detail here soon. Try to measure everything. Create small steps to follow. A little is a lot. So what do I mean by all of this? Well, <clears throat> I don't know about you, but when I've been in sales, uh, whether it was insurance, cars, whatever the case may be, uh, even dig my digital marketing services, sometimes follow-up can take anywhere from 10 to 100 hours a week just chasing people that have gone non-responsive for whatever reason. Maybe something happened in their life. Maybe like they got busy for whatever reason, right? Or maybe they're just not that interested. Maybe they decided that it was their time to drop off. They're just, they're done. And I mean, whether people give you a yes or a no, they don't need to justify their reasons. They made a decision, they're gonna stick by it. But the technology will sort that out, right? So if you automate your follow-up, all of those touch points, whether it's an email, a ringless voicemail, a text message, whatever the case may be, can go out automatically on your behalf and be personalized while it's going out, right? So it, it looks, it looks, it feels, it smells personal, right? <clears throat> Track and measure everything, every piece, every article, every piece, of, I'm gonna just gonna wrap everything up under a content umbrella, I call it content. Every piece of content that goes out, <clears throat> whether it's in the front, middle, or back, track and measure it. Know what's going on. That's the only way you're going to know whether, like, where to improve and how to improve, right? Create small steps to follow. So as you're going through, you could have a big, long post, but you want to go through there. You want to insert cliffhangers into there, right? I'll get into this a little bit more as I get to my next few points. Uh, you also have the workbook. Go through the workbook. The workbook has... Um, guidelines and stuff to follow for creating your scripts and sometimes more is less and a little can mean a lot so keep that in mind as we're going forward here two know your process right <clears throat> so define your actions on all stages Clear positioning on every step.
Oh, I had a little mini heart attack there. I almost, I thought I didn't hit the record button there for a second. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> stack your conversations, which ties back into the um, value stacking. And separate your conversations. So what do I mean by that? <clears throat> so as you're going throughout your process, right from awareness all the way to fulfillment, define your actions. The more you know your audience, the more you're gonna have an idea of what they're gonna be receptive to or not. So go through. You might not want to or need to automate your sales or your marketing or your fulfillment, right? might be like it's going to be a combination it's going to be structured differently everybody's different everybody's audience is different so the more you know your audience the more you can define what you're automating and how you're automating it so you want to be starting you want to be starting to map that out you want to make sure as you're doing your scripts you have clear positioning on every step and every action to take you want to stack your conversations in a similar manner as we discussed about the value stacking have a conversation cliffhanger call to action to the next and just keep going right <clears throat> the cycle repeats it doesn't end like it's so simple it's so simple and separate your conversation so if you have multiple product services or experience if you have multiple audiences <clears throat> just pick one that's it just just start with one get one working get one perfected and then move on i know it's hard because we sit there, we go, oh, I have all this stuff and all these people I want to work with and da 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 We get overwhelmed, we crash and burn and nothing ends up getting done. I don't want to see that happen. I want you to win. I want you to succeed in this program. So please just pick one thing and focus on that for now. Dominate that and then move on because you will have, you will have everything clearly laid out so that it will be a lot easier and a lot simple when you move on to the next product service experience or audience right keep your conference keep stacking your conversations you don't have to have the whole conversation all at once right you can if you if you like the other benefit of stacking your conversations is it's a lot easier you have more content so you're spending less time creating content if you break it up and you give call to actions you're getting a you're getting a micro commitment here, a micro commitment here, a micro commitment here, a micro commitment here. You're getting all these little yes, 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 right? Up until the final pitch, up until the the big call to action. And ideally, what you want is you want the value to outweigh the price. If you got a five hundred dollar product, give a thousand dollars worth of value. Make it a no brainer for them to say yes to that next step, right? You got a ten thousand dollar product. Give them more than ten thousand dollars worth of value. Get those micro commitments all along the way, so that by the time you ask for that big commitment, it's a no brainer. They feel they almost feel obligated to give you that commitment. And keep your conversation separate. Right, one conversation may lead into another, but stay focused and stay on track. Don't don't be jumping around all over the place, and turn them off. It's a waste of your resources and it's a waste of both of your guys' times. Put pen to paper. Remember what I said earlier uh, in the welcome video or actually in the last video here about playing pickup sticks? That's what happens if you don't put pen to paper, right? You got all of these little pieces and you're just trying to pick them up as you see fit. There's no logic. It's all rational. Don't do that to yourself. Please, don't do that to yourself. It's a world full of heartache. Trust me, I've tried that. I've done that. Every now and then, I get lazy, and I try and keep it all up here, and I crash and I burn hard. You saw that a little bit on the last videos, on the, for, on the, uh, the first week. I didn't have everything mapped out properly, so I was a little bit jumpy and all over the place. Unstructured. That's a good example of a bad example, and that's why I'm going to leave that there a little bit. So put pen to paper. <clears throat> There's tons of software out there. The main one is Funnelytics. This allows you to map it out. I 
can it's not very tablet friendly so that demo is gonna have to wait uh, I just moved I got to figure out where I put my laptop and stuff so that technical thing is gonna have to wait a little bit I will release that as a bonus video coming up but if you Google Funalytics you go open that up as last time I checked it was free so forgive me if it's not don't hang me if it's not but you can map out okay here's the different ads that I'm gonna be running or here's the different strategies I'm using to run awareness they go to this landing page. From this landing page, if they move forward, they're gonna get this, they're gonna get a series of emails or a text message, whatever the case, a series of whatever. If they don't take this action, well, it's gonna be pixeled, so you're gonna have that data, and they're gonna fall down into this pipeline, into, into this system, right? So you can map all of that out visually through Funalytics. Write your offline and online scripts, or whatever the case may be. What do I mean by that? Well, not everything is going to be online. I've said this before, I'll say this again, I caught this from somebody else, from Naveen, I can't even pronounce his last name. <clears throat> People drive technology or sorry, technology drives business, but people drive innovation, right? There's always gonna to need to be a human element involved for the most part, whether it's just monitoring the systems. So if you're, if you're trying to get people on a call, if you're trying to get them on a consultation call or an interview or whatever the case may be, write that script out. Your prospecting scripts, your follow-up scripts, get, put it all on paper. Don't keep it up here, get it down on paper, make it real. Right, you want to make it real for yourself. You don't want to be fumbling around in the dark. Your clarity affects theirs. And nothing is set in stone. I already touched on those points a little bit here. But yet, the less clear you are about your messaging, about what's going on, about your systems, about your process, the more skippy things are going to be, the more likely you are to lose people and the more likely they are to disengage. Nothing is set in stone. It's a constant game of testing, 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 testing. But until you start collecting that data, you're not going to know what's working and what's not. Now, working with an experienced digital marketing company, they're going to have a lot of those scripts and they're going to have a good idea of what's working and what's not on a general basis but there's still going to be some amount of testing that needs to go into it so keep that in mind or always be testing i know i beat this one up a lot it's like uh what is it glenn gary glenn ross always be closing well in this day and age it's always be testing right those micro commitments are a series of soft closes asking them to watch the next video whatever the case may be it's a series of micro commitments it's a series of closes so try new things and change stuff up if it's not working or yeah you think it could work better run a split test test two different variations change one thing change one thing at a time so you know if something works better or stops working you know what change you made changing two is iffy changing three or more if something breaks or something starts working exceptionally well you're not going to know what it is different strategies for different audiences Or product if you have two products and three audiences well guess what you're gonna need six different maps so like I said just focus on one take the time to plan and don't expect immediate results
See, that's our exact time. I got a 15 minute timer. So pardon me, please bear with me. We're going to go a little bit over here <clears throat> just so I can wrap this up. So different strategies for different audience product. I, I beat that one up quite a bit. Take the time to plan. Like the front end work is very heavy, very extensive. I get it. It feels monotonous sometimes. It's a pain in the ass sometimes, pardon my French, uh, but it needs to be done because as you're going to start seeing through the next, through the next sections, through the next weeks, it just, it'll make things flow a lot smoother. You'll have more clarity. You'll know what's going on and it'll, when done, like it'll help accelerate your results. It'll help, it'll help decrease the curve until you start getting results and don't expect immediate results. It is very rare in order, it is very rare to flick a campaign on, to flick the light on and have things just start working. Things are gonna break, things are gonna go wrong. The system might not be able to hand the volume that it's getting. Uh, you might have thought, you know, you might have thought this process would work very well. You might get a more of an influx of people than you thought, in which case it's not working so well anymore. So you gotta restructure it a little bit. There's so many different things and so many different variations that can happen. Like I said, commit and get attached to the target, the end result that you want, but the path is always going to change and you're not going to know exactly what path is going to work for you and your audience until you start testing things. Because a lot of stuff sounds good on paper. A lot of stuff sounds, theory, sounds good in theory until you start implementing it. I have seen it. I've learned it. I've lived it. I've gone through it time and time again. I get it. It can be frustrating. It can be a pain in the ass. And sometimes you just want to give up. But the payoff at the end of the day is that much better. Because like I said, you get more time with your family. You get more time to do things you're passionate about, your hobbies. They just, it, it opens up life. You don't have to feel guilty about not working because you know you have a system in place to do the work for you, whether you're there or not. You're taking a vacation. You just block out your calendar. Leave the system running. That people are going to be booking with you. They're going to be booking for when you get back and you're not going to be walking to a, you're not going to be walking into a drought after your vacation going, what the fuck am I going to do with myself? So that's all I got. Stay tuned. <clears throat> Part four is coming right up. I'm going to start giving you guys your homework and your assignments and we will chat soon. Cheers.